those who sailed on her, it will be a day long remembered. We're four siblings out of five who traveled transcontinent, transatlantic rather, on the SS United States twice. Dad was in the army and we were stationed in Germany and we're returning home on our first crossing on the United States. He was reassigned to Germany six years later in 1969. And so we crossed again in late summer. That time we crossed, we split, the family split up and we crossed uh, on two separate ones about a month apart. So I went with my dad and my two brothers and my two sisters and mom came later. Uh, we brought the car with us and they brought the cat with them. Uh, when we first crossed, we ranged in age from 11 to three. We had a great time. I think that for that age, the place was magic <laughs> to us because for instance, we didn't spend a whole lot of time going out to restaurants uh, and being able to choose what we ate every night for dinner. And so this was quite the treat for us to be able to play, not grown-ups, but we had a lot more independence. And so it was quite the treat to go in the dining room and be able to choose <laughs> what we had for dinner. Uh, going to the movie theater, um, and the pool. There might have been a kid's area for, with games and stuff like that. Yeah, and so we well. took full advantage of everything that was offered here because we weren't sure if it would ever happen again. Um, we were lucky enough that it did happen again. At that time we were, I think, between 17 and 10. Uh, now it's a little bit different crossing because on both of those crossings, the weather, well, there were some rough seas. Uh, I think uh, my sisters and mom ended up skirting a hurricane. Uh, we had some rough seas. So a lot of the ship was pretty quiet, a lot quieter during those crossings because a lot of people were kind of sick which was great for us because we kind of had the run of the ship and it was fairly quiet. And the dining room was pretty quiet. And our parents <laughs> stayed in the cabin <laughs> most of the time. So that was, it was a very different experience, but it was, it was interesting. I remember going down to the pool, although we weren't allowed to go into the pool at the time but watching the water sloshing over the edge of the pool. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't remember going to the movie theater on that particular trip. I do. You do? We saw, we would go into the second class area. The, uh, the staircases had doors like they have in the bathrooms where they, when you, the door would have about two feet underneath and you could slip underneath the uh, the uh, door and slip into first second class and then do the same and go back to first class so you can enjoy the movies and whatnot that they had the teen club or whatever they had in second class now I remember actually one movie I saw recently was called if it's Tuesday it must be Belgium with Suzanne Blachette <laughs> and some about tourists in Europe in Europe moving from one uh, city to another, but I remember specifically seeing that on that particular cruise. Uh, but I would be remiss if I, I didn't share one story. Yeah, you would. Uh -oh, about which my father. Oh, you can't. It was, we were sitting at a table in the first class dining room and the waiter, a gentleman with long sideburns, and came over with a bottle of wine and asked my father if he wanted to try the take a sip of it to you know to accept the bottle of wine so he took the little glass took a sip and nodded his head the guy poured him the glass and then left now about five minutes later he returned and said did you order this wine and he said no my father wasn't going to drink wine with his underage kids the whole bottle by himself 
but the guy took the bottle back and was kind of a little snippy. <laughs> but that's one of the interesting memories we have. I had a chance encounter with the SS United States when I was driving to the Outer Banks one year and um, was driving through Newport News to get there. And I love looking at shipyards, so while driving, I was glancing over at all the shipyards. And then all of a sudden, I saw two funnels coming out of the, out the in the distance. And uh, my, I recognized her immediately, even though it had been 40 years. It's a very distinctive and profile. Out of all the cranes and the uh, and the other ships that were uh, docked there, I said, I, I think that's the United States. And sure enough, I, but I was having a hard time figuring out how to pull over and take a picture. So on the entrance to the tunnel underneath the harbor where you are not supposed to be pulling over, <laughs> I pulled over to where the employees parked and was standing on the, the highway um, and took a picture of her. And sure enough, it was the United States nice. sitting in Newport News in the early 90s. Uh, but it was it was kind of special to all of a sudden see her again and recognize her immediately uh, off in the distance. So, so this is quite the treat to come back here. Uh, we were very excited that the Conservancy was allowing us to come back because we didn't think that this was going to be possible. Um, yeah, we're very appreciative. And we're very appreciative that, uh, that they made these arrangements. Uh, because although it's sad to see her in this state, it, it brings back lots of really good memories from our time here. And the fun thing is to talk to my siblings and see what they remember about their experience here. Because we all obviously have different things that stick in our head. Uh, and so it's 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 a it's, great opportunity. It's yeah. fun to reconnect to see how things really work because in the future, if it does get remodeled, it'll be different. And it's just it is incredible to see to see her today, even though uh, it's not exactly what we remember from being on board. But it certainly um, is incredible to see what's left, uh, and it would be nice if she could be repurposed people don't understand. We're here with some of our kids and spouses who, and particularly the kids, don't quite understand what it's like that with these ocean liners. Uh, what, a, a at least era, it's a right. little bit easier for them to imagine now what it was like 